Hey guys, Witchy Cat Lady here in Dragon Adventures, and today I'm going to show you all the ways to make money in this game, including all the ways that I make money. As you can see here, I am starting out with 424,000, and that's actually a little bit lower than something I did to get that money that is coming into the video. I just managed to do that before starting this, so I will show you that when we get to it. But one of the first ways is you're going to want to make money. But before we get started, I want to remind you of a giveaway I have going on. The giveaway is for this gorgeous Norgan. Wow, it is huge. But isn't this pretty? And I will link that video at the end and I will put it in the description. This giveaway is going on for the length of September of 2023. And the reason I'm giving you an entire month is because, well, I understand that sometimes we find videos later and I don't want you guys to miss out. So this opportunity is for everyone. Make sure to watch the video to learn how to enter and I wish you all good luck. Now to get into it, there are lots of ways to make money and it's really hard to try to tell someone the best way to do it because there are so many different ways and different things are gonna work for different people. But one of the first things I'm going to show you is your daily and weekly missions, as well as your season pass. As if you go into your daily missions, you will see that there are missions that let you earn money. So working on them will give you money. I mean, right here, if you hatch a fantasy egg, you get 500 coins. Do I have a fantasy egg? I don't. That's okay. But we can see here, there's some I've already done. I earned 500 coins by selling something earlier. I think it was a dragon. It might have been something small in the player marketplace, but I'm going to go ahead and claim that. See, there's an easy 200 coins. And by farming my plants on my farm, I get 300. And I will show you those plants here in just a second. As you can see here, even in the weekly missions, there are things that you can do. There's one here, you get 4,000 coins. Another for 2,000. And this one here, if you use 10 potions on your dragons, like say you get a bunch of potions that, you know, material or the color shuffle potions that you don't really use, just use them up and you can get these alchemy elixirs, which you can use to make potions to sell. And we will get to that. This will be an in-depth video, by the way, as much as I can. So let's take Demon Raptor out and start showing you some of the other ways. While my terrain is loading... One of the things I will highly recommend that actually gets me the most money is plant farming. Now, as you can see here, I have a massive plot of coconuts, and I actually use multiple alt accounts. I have, I think, 15 alts that actively farm, and that is one method. Is If you can't get coconuts, start with what you can, because honestly, some money is better than no money. Now, I do have some recommendations. You know, apple seeds are from origin, carrots from grassland, peaches are from jungle. I do not recommend these. Try to get past jungle, and you want to start with at least the banana seeds. Like, these are fine, but they're not going to get you a ton of money. Your money givers, the big ones, are going to be coconut and dragon fruit. They're pretty high up if you're struggling to get up. But start where you can. If you can get a few banana seeds, plant those. Onions are okay. Watermelon's all right. Pumpkin and pineapple are pretty good. Start where you can. And as you progress through the worlds and start making money to buy higher level seeds, you know, start working on upgrading your farm. You don't have to do all this in one day. And if you do not have Robux to get all four of these plots, that's okay too. You don't have to make a hundred million in a week. You can take your time. There's no rush. Start slow, work up. So like right now, I have 5,612 coconuts on me. I do have uh, about 7,000 in the bank on this account. That's my big money maker. I use those to save for big expenses, you know, upgrading, things like that. But my daily expenditures, like this stuff that I use to buy my potions and my dragons, I do with all these other methods I'm mentioning. One of the other ways to get money is do the time trials in each world. So I, I'm using my Soar Swamp Soup here because the Soar has a good turning radius. 
but the time trials give you 700 coins just for completing it. You don't have to do it really fast, so if you're kind of like that where I showed you go past it a little bit, you're afraid you're going to miss it going forward, have to loop around, just pause for a second. And somebody did comment on my video with that suggestion. Fantastic reminder because I was actually rushing and forgetting to pause, and I appreciate reminders too. Reminders are good. Everybody can use tips. So here we are, we're going to finish, and 700 coins, and you can also get an egg for whichever world that you've done the time trial in. Now if you're thinking, oh, 700 coins isn't a lot, well, you know what? 700 coins can actually buy you the resources that you need to get incubators. And 50 wood and 50 stone is exactly 700 coins, so time trials are very nice. Another really easy method, and again, I use all of these methods to get the max amount, is be sure to do your spin wheel every day. You might get coins. You might get a potion you really want that you don't have to go buy, which saves you coins. You might get a potion that you can throw in alchemy and make something better. You might get that mutation potion down there and you can go sell it for like 100000 or something. The other option is alchemy, which I'm completely out of. <laughs> because I made like four of these mutation potions. But when you get bottles from your missions or your season pass, and you get elixirs by turning in, you know, resources or foods you're not using, like that one magic crystal that I have, or potions that you're not going to use. So like these tame potions, I don't like them. I'll toss them in there. And you have all kinds of varieties of the levels, and I variety was not the word I'm looking for. Huh. I hope you know what I mean. Meat and bacon is a really good one to turn into alchemy, and I know I'm talking quickly, and I do apologize for that. Make sure to save this video somewhere in a playlist so that you can come back and check it. Rewatch it as many times as you need. We've got a ton more things to go through. I did mention the season pass. You don't even have to work on the premium pass. I mean, you can if you want to. You will get like 50,000 coins in there. But look up here in our free pass. Just on tier 1, which you can get with a couple of missions, is 5,000 coins. Easy. The next one, two spin tokens that you can use on the wheel to get possibly more money. And then up here on tier 9, 45,000 coins. Five spin tokens at tier 8. This stuff adds up, guys. Do all of the things to get all of the money. Now, what I want to rush into before it leaves is the Solstice event because my big tip is work the events because you can get the event currency to get things like potions and stuff to resale le later. Oh man, that was, that was a tongue twister to resell later. Goodness gracious. So with the events, my big tip is use your event currency to go into the event stores. Get the things that you want for yourself, of course, but also go in here, things like the potions, the themes, all of that can be tradable and sellable in the player exchange. I recommend, you know, get a variety. Try to estimate what's the most valuable. I do have a video on what I think is going to be the money makers for Solstice, which, I mean, really by the time this video comes out, hopefully you've seen that and stocked up. I have 610 left because I bought a lot of things. I mean, right here I have 23 of the Gamma Ray Potions just on my main. What can I get for 610? Actually, I'm going to get this Solar Winds. I have 26 of them <laughs> because it's a really nice element. It may sell well. I'm down to 6 some gold. But events are, are a way that you can make money. You know, work the events. Get the dragons even. Sell those. And oh, actually... Uh, demon, demon, what are you doing? Are you snuggling, buddy? That, uh, the E. That is my next tip. So let's head to Undercity. So another thing that you can do is go into Undercity and sell off any extra dragons that you don't want. And I'm going to stitch in here now. I had an extra default cast. I ended up selling it for 450,000 coins. Again, selling extra event dragons is a way to go. If you can sell them quickly after getting them in the event, people will pay a good markup on them or hold on to them 
till after the event. I got really lucky that somebody was looking for this one, but I got a pretty good deal considering where the cast was value-wise at the time, averaging probably around 300 k but this was near the end of the event, and people were really looking for one, and this Volk right here is going to have a bid war on it to go for a good while. We are <laughs> not sitting here for this, but something some people do is they will sell themes, which I'm looking to see if I see any in here. Or sometimes if you just get some really cool dragons from breeding or co-hatches, some people will buy them. And while, you know, 5,000 may not seem like much, 5,000 is more than what you had. I've got some, lots of little babies to delete, but I've got, I think, a couple corals left from breeding that, you know, if I'm just, like, doing something else, if I'm folding laundry or something, I'll sit down in Undercity and I'll sell off some extra dragons, get a little extra coins. So a lot of times, if you see me in Undercity, I, I'm mostly AFK. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting there chilling, watching the boards, and selling off some random dragons because I'm doing something else. Another thing that you can do is head into the player market, or they call it the player market place, player exchange, or the PE, and you can sell off any unwanted things. So we see here in the market, people have all kinds of things for sale. Now, keep in mind that just because someone's asking a price doesn't mean that that is worth it. That's just what they're asking for it. So things like like this basic elemental potion, that's actually a really good deal. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. But you're going to want to look at things that are in-game. Go to the shop and check the prices. There have been times where I'll see somebody asking 100000 for a gender potion. That's not what it goes for in the shop. That's actually a good deal in the afterlife. But that's coming back for Halloween, most likely, so I'm not going to be buying that. But your sales, oh, all of my stuff has sold. If you have any unwanted accessories or resources uh, you could sell, mostly what you're going to be looking at for selling is going to be accessories or potions. Any unneeded potions are going to be good. You can go with the, you know, the higher elements themes. But honestly, if you don't have those or don't want to sell those, any of your color and material potions, your gender potions, your ele your basic element potions, pupil potions, stuff like that, these little presets, will we'll still get you money. These The shuffles go for, I think, like 7500 in the shop. If you've got a couple of them, throw them in for like 5000 People will buy them. And if you've got a lot of them, you can sell multiple in a pack and just up the price accordingly. Or you can sit here at the player marketplace and go in the chat and say, hey, you know, selling a bunch of color and shuffle potions in the player marketplace, you know, like 5000 a piece. Just come on in, say that you're going to restock when they sell, something like that. But I've got some in here that I have had in here for a while. I'm going to go ahead and claim these. Now... This will only be available, things that you're selling in the player marketplace, while you are actually in the server. It's not something that will happen when you're logged out, so you have to be in the server in order for them to sell. That's kind of the only really big catch there. And you will get a pop-up down here on the bottom. I purposely didn't claim those when they sold earlier because I wanted to claim them for this video to show you. <gasps> Look at that, they're going up. So let's go find some other ways to make money. And I actually forgot to show you something about the farming. The whole reason we farm crops to sell for money is because the farm merchant will buy them at a markup and the food that he's buying or she at the day, the food that the merchant is buying at the time changes every day and it is random and it will only be foods that you can farm. If you want a list, of what those foods go for there is a list on the wiki but if you just go to google and search uh, dragon adventures foods farm merchant that should come up another way that you can make money is by fishing now you cannot fish out money but you can fish out fish to sell and actually i have a huge tip if you catch any fish hold on to those because there is a wandering fish trader coming. I will restitch in a picture of that. 
but there is a wandering fish trader or fish merchant that will be coming to the game this September 2023 and just like the other food merchant this fish trader will buy fish from us it should be just a random one each day we will find out more as we get closer but that will be another way to make money right now I don't want to catch this brown fish but you can also catch potions when fishing now each world will have its own preset so like Undercity has dream origin has the origin preset and so on and so forth but you can also catch potions like color shuffles material shuffles and as you get higher up in the worlds you can catch things like grow potions things like that which you can then you know use or trade or sell you can't sell robux potions in the player exchange there are other potions that you can get in the fishing and again google the wiki there should be a list let me see if I have some in here that you could get out of there. I think you can get gender potions out of there, which are sellable. Oh, and fishing frenzies happen once or twice a year. So keep an eye out for those updates. And you can get these lovely potions. You can get mutation potions. You can get, which I don't have a mutation potion. The mutation cure really doesn't sell well. So I just hold on to a few in case there's a mutation on a dragon I don't like. Something else that also sells well is the legendary potions. Like, I have a legendary pupil in here right now. I do not plan on selling it because I like that. Legendary colors sell for more, which I don't have because I use them all. Well, hello. Hi! <laughs> but yes, I do! So this person's asking me if I do YouTube, and they watch me. I said, yes, say hi to YouTube. And they're saying, hi! So, Thunder, if you see yourself... Comment down below, just letting them know what kind of video I'm recording. That's, I hope that's exciting for you. Oh my goodness. Yay. <laughs> okay, let me go find some other ways to make money. Now, I did forget to mention while I was down in Undercity that another thing that you can do to make money is do trades for other things that you can sell. So I have a screenshot of it. I don't think I got it all in the chat. But this person wanted to trade a theme potion for a couple of material shuffle potions, which I just happened to have. So I did the trade, and I'm going to hold on to that theme potion for a little while and maybe resell it later. But to get into our other thing, come on, demon. Oh, oh my gosh. Another way that you can make money is killing mobs. Now, the mobs themselves do not give money, but they drop things like ashes, meat, and bacon that you can take to the store and sell, or you can save them and put them in alchemy to make potions to sell. So right now I'm looking for a mob area that's not taken by somebody else. There's one up this way I'm gonna go for. Really, you can do this in any world, but the higher up you can go, the better your rewards are going to be. I can go all the way to prehistoric, but to be honest, I don't really like doing mobs in Prehistoric. They're either glitchy or it just takes longer because the mobs are stronger. I have the dragons that can handle it. That's not really the issue. I just have the patience. That is the issue. <laughs> right now, I'm struggling to find this higher up mob area. Oh my gosh. And we are loading. Goodness. I like Wasteland because, one, the mob, they still have a good drop rate on the prizes and there's not usually as many people here is this the mob area yes we're slowly loading into the ground so we'll see here see I can take it down pretty good with my ala and I get four bacon and eight meat two ashes and I will go sell some of this I'm not going to sell all of my meat and ashes or all of my meat and bacon just because I had some before and I do want to hold on to some of that for food because even though the solstice is about to end, there are going to be other events coming up and I will need food to grow the dragons so that I can keep them or sell them. But even the grind in here for me isn't that bad because we have all these different ways. And I'm sure I'm going to show you all these ways that I can think of to get money that I do. And when I go to hit end, I'm probably going to remember something. <laughs> So I will periodically do more videos on how to earn coins in this game. 
There are so many methods, and to be honest, I'm always perfecting my own methods. And again, I recommend try out all of the methods, see which work best for you, and if you're anything like me, doing the same thing over and over again gets really boring and your brain might actually just kind of shut off doing the thing. Uh, I have ADHD, I am definitely open about that, so that's not a secret. And doing the grind, the same thing over and over and over, my brain will stop. It, I can't even force myself to keep going. So I switch things up. I don't even do mobs every day. Sometimes I just get in and farm and leave. Some days I actually fixate and I will be in that event for all of my free time. And then there's some days I just, I think I've skipped a few days logging in and I don't know how many times my daily login has reset. I've definitely been playing for a lot longer than 133 days. Good gracious. So let's kill this last mob and I'll show you about bosses. Now bosses are definitely probably not the best way to get money, but it is a really good way to get money and other things. You can get rewards that you can sell or use for yourself so you don't have to spend money getting them. You can get like mutation potions on these higher up bosses. You can get seeds and each boss has their little board over here that shows you what you can get. You can get the eggs as a reward. You can get golden fruit. And then they'll have a list of your potions. This one has some really, really nice ones. I, I love the mutation potions. I usually use them anymore. I used to sell them, but I don't anymore. Coins could even be a reward. Now, the way that they've done bosses now is it does not matter what level your dragon is. And I'm going to prove that to you. I'm going to purposefully get somebody a little bit lower. I'm not going in with a level one. That's just crazy. Not in, a wa not in Wasteland anyway. I'll take in this level 5 Amonita to show you that you don't have to have a high level dragon to do these bosses. And I'm going to do it solo. So here we go. Now if you do want to level up your dragons because you do get attack and health bonuses and defense bonuses as your dragon levels up. Which are good for, you know, the mobs, races, any other player versus player. Bosses are a good way to do that. And I'm watching the health go down on this Amanita, and I'm starting to have second thoughts <laughs> if this one in particular was a good choice. I didn't even look at the Amanita's max health. I just kind of jumped in here. So, fingers crossed. Hope and pray. Now, if your dragon does faint in a boss battle, it's not the end of the world. It may feel like it, because you're like, dang on it, all that time wasted. But just heal it and either go down... A world or two or just pick a slightly higher level dragon or one that has better health and eventually you'll get the feel for which dragons you can use where I have a video floating around somewhere where I took a soar and I started in origins with it at level one and by the time I got to prehistoric that soar was at level six and it defeated the prehistoric boss all by its little self these mobs are being mean to me this one doesn't want to take damage there we go so because that didn't take damage, now I'm getting ganged up on. Go down. No, don't attack me. Okay, that doesn't want to take damage either. That's frustrating when that happens. I think it's had something to do with the situation of the mob and its hitbox. I think its hitbox was getting blocked by that pillar there. Okay, I'm still on my second life, and I'm on the final stage. So I think I'm doing okay. Little level 5 Amonita for the win. And there we go. Still plenty of health left on my last life. Got some coins. Let's see what reward we get. <gasps> More coins. I'll take it. So at this moment, I can't think of other ways to earn coins. But let's go down to Undercity real quick so I can put this over on my alt. And I will show you just how much I have saved up on that alt account so that you can see just how worth it this is. All right, I am back here in Undercity with my alt, Witchy Cat Baby. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer about 500000 over to that. And I do that by having the alt put in an item. This one put in a Revival Heart for the amount I want to transfer over. So I'm going to buy that. I'm going to double check the user. Buy that from my alt. And there goes my money over to storage. And now here we are on my alt. And all of this name chaos, you can see Witchy Cat Lady has bought your heart. Yay! So I'm going to go in here 
I'm going to go to my sales on my alt. And I'm going to hit claim. And there's another 500,000. And this alt is now at 30 million. So, guys, I hope you realize that combining these methods to make money is worth it. It may not seem like much to be like, oh, well, I only get 9,000 from this. I only get 5,000 from that. It adds up. And now I'm going to take what I've used here and I'm going to go buy a flare that I've been looking for. I hope this video has helped you guys. I'm probably going to remember some things, so I'm going to make sure to do a how to get money video every now and then. If you guys want to see a fresh one, just comment. If you have other suggestions on how to make money that I haven't thought of, let me know. I'll add those into videos for everyone. You know, we'll find all the ways. Tell me which ways you use. And that is accessories, not flares. Which ways do you find that work better for you? And I will see you guys in game or another video. Bye.